been to the march all of my life as much as I can remember from being in the seventh grade at Martin Luther King Middle School then, which is now Academy, and walk, marching with Reverend Callies. Um, it really set a tone of pride. It set a tone of unity. Um, it set a tone of just togetherness. And then when you look at the city of San Antonio, it brings everyone from every walk of life, from every area of the city, to one place to be united to celebrate such a life that spoke to the heart of just justice for all. And so that's what the march really is about. And it's just something that continues to flow and continues to grow. And we are one of the largest marches in the nation. And that speaks to how people really come to San Antonio to feel and embrace that unity. The commemorative march for Martin Luther King Jr. is a reminder that the uh, walk to freedom and, and equal justice is, is still ongoing, but it also has a deep, uh, important root in San Antonio. The fact that it grows every single year is a, is a testament to the role that San Antonio plays in, in, in the ethos of our city to be one uh, of light that helps us move towards a place of equality. It's just phenomenal to see the community coming together. So many different organizations, so many youth that participate in the march is really what I think uh, really motivates me to make sure that this keeps going. And really, uh, just reminding everybody that San Antonio, we're a compassionate city. We uh, are an inclusive city. And the fact that we have the largest MLK march in the, uh, in, in the United States is really uh, almost no surprise to me. I've grown up knowing about this. I've grown up knowing that we celebrate. I always remember my mother's words document the family events. So when I came to San Antonio, that's what I wanted to do is document San Antonio events. So that's how I got started with the march. Each time we had the march, I would do, uh, I would do an exhibit at our interface service part of the march. And uh, so that built, I sort of built up a collection of photographs. Now I just have oodles and oodles of photographs. So as I look around and see some of these photos uh, from Mr. Wallace, which he's done a phenomenal job, I love the pictures of folks holding uh, arm in arm. And so it reminds us that, uh, again, we're all part of one community and we will continue to do what's right. When I look at the exhibit and I look at Mr. Wallace's work and I see faces that I grew up with that are no longer with us. Um, we have a young lady that used to always sing in the MLK choir. Um, and so to know that we still can see her image and what she loved to do best with singing and just being there for one another and lifting someone up in song. And that's what you see in this presentation from Mr. Wallace. You get to see a lot of the people that we've lost even this year due to COVID here in a presence being presented to say, my life really meant something. I was here to make an example for the rest of the world to see what it's like to lock arms with each other and to march for a cause that's greater than self. Uh, a great deal of thanks to uh, Ali for you know documenting the, this history and also being willing to share his vision uh, for it. Uh, to everybody that walks into San Antonio and arrives in our city, they're going to see this, and I, I can't think of a better image for them to see of our community.